Greetings all. Last Outrider here with the finale of the Shield Maidens of Lysios. Let's get to it. Canonist Grace spat a goblet of bloody saliva into the sea of spent shell casings tinkling around her ankles. She had lost a few teeth to the ugly spore that had killed so many of the seraphim. But it would take more than that to kill her. Unfortunately, quantity was something that the Tyranids had in a great measure. Even behind the walls of the shattered manufactorums, she could hear the hateful hiss of the Xenos void spawn scuttering towards her. Striding back to the front line, Grace felt bile rise in her throat. She infinitely preferred the killing of Xenos to her previous duties of executing civilians. But there was no breaking this foe. Even her tested tactic of concentrating fire upon the larger organisms brought only momentary respite. So far, none had dared voice the thought lurking in the back of every mind, that they would run out of ammunition before the bioships ran out of beasts. One of her Celestians fell back to reload, and she stepped in to replace her, loosing a triple burst from a fresh clip. Each of her bolts slammed into a tyranid body, detonating in a spray of vile fluids. A pox on the so-called Kryptian Armada, shouted the cannoness as she fired another two bursts. If they had done their jobs right, this would have long been over. Sister Elspeth, a brute of a woman, even outside her power armor, merely grunted. Sweat stood out upon her broad brow as she emptied her heavy bolter at an alien form that had made it through the cordon of fire. She knocked out the spent clip with her knee and reached to the small of her back for another. But her hand came back empty, and her growl rose into a bellicose curse. The clack of empty bolters came from the upper stories of the ruins above, confirmed by more oaths and shouts of anger. Grace's pulse thundered hot as she felt her order's rain of firepower stutter out around her. On the Xenos horrors came. The nearest creatures caught by streams of infilating fire from the transports at the edge of the corral. From the left... Thermal beams lanced outwards towards a trio of towering warrior forms. They cut one in half at the waist and vaporized the other torso altogether. Grace added her own fire to the carnage, cutting down the last of the brood and sending its minion creatures scattering away. Her smile of triumph was lit briefly by muzzle fire before her bolt pister, too, ran empty. Here they come, sisters, she called, her voice tense. She scanned the shadows for a moment, looking for her nemesis beast, but saw nothing. Stand ready! She continued, forcing herself to focus. Be strong, and the Emperor will lend us his might. 
Her sisters shouted their assent as the scuttlers surged forward in a great hissing mass. They were almost close enough to smell. Suddenly, great sheets of flame roared from the lower stories of the ruin to the right, filling the air with Promethean reek and bowling the leading mass backwards with the sheer force of the conflagration. A dozen survivors plunged through the flames. Three of them were put down by the last smattering of bolter fire as the rest leapt through the tanks, ringing the ruins. Each tyranid transformed into a comet of trailing flame. Grace sprang down from her firing position with a clear, high cry of battle lust. Her Celestians followed close behind, voices raised in a prayer for the Emperor's favor. They met the oncoming Tyranids at pace. Ceramite splintering Chiton with the force of their charge. Grace barked a harsh cry of triumph as the edge of her shoulder armor punched into an unprotected neck. The sermons that the canonists had delivered before the battle had been simple. Cut off the head and the body will die. Now it was time to practice what she had preached. She smashed her elbow hard into the mouth of a nearby leader beast, feeling the needle teeth crunch against her armor. A prayer for strength spilt from her lips, and when she slammed her pistol sidelong into the beast's crested head, it came apart in a spray of ichor. Nearby, her squad mates were laying into those Xenos creatures that still remained inside the cordon. She caught sight of Sister Elspeth, wrenching a beast the size of a small horse away from Sister Felicitas before hurling it into the rubble and leaping forward to stomp on its neck until its writhing ceased. Grace muttered thanks to the Emperor before turning her back, just in time to dodge a stabbing talon. She lashed out with a gauntleted fist, punching another biting mouth away from her with a snarl. Suddenly, a fat-bodied monster rose up on stilt-like legs and flopped its grotesque bulk between two rhinos. Their stone bolters blasted chunks from its chimney-ridged carapace, but did not slow it in the least. The sheer weight of the thing pushed the personnel carriers aside buckling their armor as it bullied a path through the cordon. Grace primed a crack grenade and flung it at the creature's head. But the blast had little effect. As she searched for a way to kill the Xeno's terror, the undulating sack dangling beneath it split wide of its own accord. A constellation of malevolent red eyes glimmered from the humid darkness within. The creature screeched, heaved, and sent a shower of barbed spines from its carapace, knocking two recoiling sisters off their feet. At the same time, the awful orifice under its torso yawned wide. Strings of mucus 
flew out as it disgorged a pair of scuttling horrors in an obscene mockery of birth. Grace stumbled back in shock, her bolt pistol dead in her hand. She cast around for allies, for a way out, for something to stop the organic monstrosity forcing its way towards her. A single bolt shell, miraculously unspent, lay upon a nearby pile of casings. Manually sliding her bolts, pistols breech open, Grace grabbed the shell and scrabbled it into her bolt pistol as the vile Xenos heaved out another clutch of scuttlers. The brood beast waddled forward on pincer legs, roaring as it drew closer. Grinning gaunts closed in around her, their symbiote weapons buzzing. Crying out, Grace sent the blessed bolt into the creature's yawning mouth. A heartbeat later, the Tyranid's blunt head burst apart with a wet thump, and its hideous mass slumped to the floor. The brood beast's Agony was echoed a dozen times over as its death throes racked the minds of its young. As one, the lesser Xenos spasmed, shook, and slumped lifeless to the ground. Emperor be praised! came a cry from a ruined arch high above. That was, that was the last of them. We think we did it. I think we did it. Canonis raised her eyes to the heavens, to the heavens, a rapture of relief flowing through her. The rain of spores had stopped. There you go. The sisters defeated the Tyranids. There's a thought for you. Until next time. Bye.